What's up, everybody? Dwayne Bryant here from wagertalk.com with another edition of my MLB trend report. This one for Wednesday, August 23rd. I've got five really good trends for you guys today. We're going to get right into it. And as always, I start by saying, please never make a bet based on any single trend angle or piece of information. Simply use the trends I'm giving you here in addition to other factors and your handicapping of these games. Guys, and if you don't already, please follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at WagerTalkDwayne. Let's go right to trend number one. And for trend number one, we are looking at Aaron Savale going back to the 2021 season when he is a favorite and he's going against opponents that are outscored by an average of one or more runs per game on the season. We'll hit the SDQL button and you'll see that Savale is a perfect 12 and 0 winning by three and a half runs per game he was an average favorite of minus 170 uh, so the roi is still a very good 58.7 percent and this is active on wednesday with the rays and Savale hosting the colorado rockies as a huge favorite some guys don't mind drinking that juice if you don't, well, you've got a really good trend in your favor here. Let's move right into trend number two. And guys, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. For trend number two, this is kind of a longer one. But we're going to look at Jamison Tyone. And again, we're going to go back to the 2021 season. We're going to look at the second half of the season, so game number greater than 81. We're going to look at him when he faces an American League opponent. And that American League opponent averages 4.4 or less runs per game on the season. And the line is lower than minus 250. We'll hit the SDQL button. And you'll see that the over-under is 10 and 1. 10 overs, only 1 under. These games have gone over by an average of more than 4 runs per game. Love the margin on that one. Very nice 75.5% ROI. And you can see that this is active on Wednesday with Tyone and the Cubs visiting the Detroit Tigers. And keep in mind, the only under in this query was the last instance against the Royals. So does this trend now start to regress? All trends eventually regress and start to head the other way, uh, which is why I like the trends that have, you know, a smaller sample size, but a large winning margin because you want to get on these trends early before they start to go the other way and you never know when that's going to happen. We might have an indicator of that right here for this, or that just might end up being a blip on the radar and we might end up seeing a ton more overs coming. Only time will tell. So we'll go right into trend number three. And guys, you're watching this on the wager talk YouTube channel. I do put this MLB trend report on my personal channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you don't want to miss out on my Tuesday and Thursday MLB trend reports, please subscribe to my channel. The address is right there on the screen, wt.buzz slash dbtv. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up to like this video. I would greatly appreciate you doing so. For trend number three, we're looking at Jack Flaherty, and we're going back to April 17th of this season, and we're looking at him at home since then. And a click of the button shows you that the over-under is 7-0-1, seven, oh, seven overs, no unders, one push. Love the margin here. These games have gone over by an average of five and a quarter runs per game. 
And not only that, but if you look down here at the very far right side column for innings, all of these games finished in nine innings. So there are no extra inning games in this query that would help uh, puff up that margin there. So that is a uh, strictly a margin that was made in a regulation nine innings. Very impressive five and a quarter run margin there. Very nice 80 and a half percent ROI. And you can see that this is active on Wednesday with Flaherty and the Orioles hosting the Toronto Blue Jays. That brings me to trend number four. And guys, if you have any uh, situational aspects to today's games that you want me to look up in the database, uh, drop them in the comments and I'll get to them when I can. Uh, if you have found any trends or angles that are active for today's games, make sure you drop those in the comments as well. We would all love to see them. For trend number four, we're going to look at Corbin Burns just this season. Not C means not conference, so it's a non-conference game, which means in baseball terms, that means Burns here is facing an American League opponent. Or actually, yeah. And then that opponent's winning percentage is greater than 40%. So Burns this season against a non-conference or American League opponent, in his case, with a uh, winning percentage of higher than 40%. Click of the button and you'll see that the over-under is a perfect 8-0. Eight, no, eight overs, no unders. These games went over by a little more than four and a half runs per game on average. Very nice 89.9% ROI. And you can see that this is active uh, today with Burns and the Brewers hosting the Twins. And that brings me to the fifth and final trend for today. And guys, if you haven't already, my You Pick Your Freebie Football special deal at dbbets.com is coming down to the final days here. You're going to want to get on this now. You go to my page at dbbets.com and scroll down the page. You'll see the details. I was number one at Wager Talk in college football last season in all three metrics, profit, win percentage, and ROI. I was number one at Wager Talk in NFL profit two seasons ago. Number one at Wager Talk over the last two seasons combined in profit from 5% NFL max bets. And it's not here on the screen, but I'll go a step further. Um, over the last two football seasons, which for me is college and NFL combined, we have amassed a bankroll increase of 85.65%. So people that have been with me for football the last two years have nearly doubled their bankrolls. So right now, you can choose your freebie. If you grab my college football season package, again, I was number one across the board last year, you can choose to get my entire NFL season through the Super Bowl absolutely free. Or if you purchase my college football season package, you can choose to get the rest of my MLB season through the World Series free. Or your biggest savings is if you grab my college football NFL season combo package at a discount. We will add on to that the rest of my MLB through the World Series absolutely free. If you purchase my college football season package, a member of Wager Talk's amazing customer service staff will reach out to you to see which freebie you want, whether you want the NFL season or the rest of my MLB. If you purchase a college football NFL season combo package, you will automatically receive the rest of my MLB through the World Series for free. And to do this, you just look on the right side of the page here where it says long-term and seasonal passes. Right under that, there's a heading for football. Just click on the drop-down box below that. Pick which season package you want, and we will tack on the appropriate freebies from there. Again, dbbets.com is where you want to go to take advantage of this deal right now. So let's wrap this up with trend number five. And for trend number five, we're going to look at Austin Gomber just this season on the road when the line is plus 140 or more. So he is a dog of plus 140 or higher on the road this year. Hit the SDQL button. 
And you will see that the over-under is 0 and 9, no overs, nine unders. These games stayed under by nearly two and a half runs per game. Very nice 91.8% ROI. And this is active today with Gomber and the Rockies visiting the Tampa Bay Rays. And guys, that will do it for today's MLB trend report. Again, if you have any situations that you want me to look up for today's games, drop them in the comments. I'll get to them when I can. Uh, if you have any trends or angles that you found that are active for today's games, drop those in the comments as well. We would all love to see them. And as always, guys, best of luck on all of your wagers today.